In politics and money now, President Trump is rolling out his infrastructure plans this week and Democrats are throwing up roadblocks. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer says the president's proposals benefit financial firms while sticking average Americans with the bill. Alexander Castellanos, the founder of Narrative 2020, offers his analysis. This is something that frequently is acceptable on both sides of the aisle. You know, the left and the right think that one of the best ways to promote economic growth and development is in infrastructure spending. And um, real estate people like infrastructure spending. I don't see this being something that he lets go or something that's just a big speech. Uh, I do see this being something that he is a little bit of a bull for until he gets a lot of progress. Thank you, Alexander. The president's infrastructure plan could total $1 trillion in new investments. The Trump plan also includes privatizing air traffic control. The sugar market spiked on reports that the U.S. and Mexico are negotiating a trade deal. Joe Cahill, a columnist with Crane Chicago Business, has more. There's a lot of concern o over this uh, among U.S. food companies that buy a lot of sugar and would see their costs go up dramatically if tariffs are imposed on, on Mexican sugar. And then the U.S. agricultural sector is also very concerned because they expect that Mexico would impose uh, tariffs on U.S. Uh, high fructose corn syrup, which affects corn farmers across the U.S. and major agricultural processing companies like ADM and Cargill. Thank you, Joe. According to early indications, there could be a sugar deal that calls for Mexico to agree to export less refined sugar to the U.S.